Yeah, you see? This man knows a little too much. Choco! I'm not gonna lie, I already watched this episode, but when I reacted to it, the audio of the of the episode didn't pick up, so it was like Damn. So yeah, let's just rewatch it again. I hope you enjoyed. And grab your snacks if you want. Before you get into it, make sure to subscribe. Cause I want that 1k. We're gonna eat the world's hottest gummy bear. But yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, that's the volcano dude right there. Is that man moaning? I see you have most of your body back. Yeah, this is a good place to rejuvenate. Humans don't come anywhere. Body really sucks. That, that looks up. nice, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It makes self preservation so difficult. That looks like a nice know? place to just you chill. Know you're awfully worn out yourself. Oh, you can tell? Turns out Sukuna and his vessel are my natural enemies. I started this whole game because I happened to acquire a new toy. It was great at first, but then it didn't work out. Should have used a hostage. Then I could have forced him into a pact, am I right? Hand your body over to Sukuna if you don't want to see this dude killed. You failed because pacts are only ever placed by oneself on oneself. It's not easy to. Yeah, imagine, imagine how strong he could have probably been because of intervention from others. Maybe I should have just given that thing a lethal wound instead of transfiguring it. Then Sukuna might have been able to heal it with his reverse curse technique. Don't forget your place, foolish puppet. No, not with that personality. I think he would have. That is true, but dude, Jujutsu Kaisen season two trailer just came out like a day a day ago, and bro, I do want to watch it. Well, it's just, it might spoil some stuff in this season. Or in these episodes, whatever. And I don't really want to get spoiled, so... That's why. Fused either way. Jogo, touching Sukuna made me realize that we should probably proceed with Gato's plan for now. Sukuna is that valuable. Hmm. You mean gather all the figures and offer them to Sukuna, huh? Yes, sir. Even if that means we all get wiped out in the process, eh? Very well, then. I sure don't intend to be the one left laughing like a lunatic in the wasteland a century from now. As long as curses exist as people, that's all that matters. Oh, you understand exactly. Good. Then first, we need to go retrieve the six fingers from Jujutsu Tech. Do we have to? I thought the sorcerers were only keeping you- Is he? Is he a curse? G to Dory around so that he can swallow Sukuna's fingers. If we leave him alone, he'll still eat them. The higher ups at Jujutsu Tech are still trying to calculate Yuji Itadori's strength as a vessel. They want to see just how many fingers he can. Yeah, take. you see, this they man knows a little too all much. The fingers and then have him consume them, with just one exception. I want him to eat them all now. But we can't just wait around. Worst case. There's the chance they could decide to eliminate Yuji Itadori. My first move was allowing Jujutsu Tech to retrieve the fingers we had. Nanami! Come on! Would you say something interesting? Bruh. This, though. That wasn't the kind of difficult I meant. Nanami, does Yuji know about that finger in Junpei Yoshino's? I haven't told him. Knowing Yuji. He'd just feel unnecessarily responsible. I'm glad I left you in charge of him. So, where is it now? I submitted it to the higher-ups, of course. If I gave it to you, you'd have already fed it to Itadori. Ouch! But... That is true. Are you really sure you that probably would have as well. him back? If they find out he's alive at the exchange event, won't the higher-ups just target him again? Even if they do, Yuji will be fine now. You know that better than anyone, don't you? Hmm. Hey, Gojo! <laughs> oh, Nanami's here too. Well, come on, guys. Let's hurry up. I want to go see everyone. I can't wait. Can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Can't wait. I'm so Show up like nothing happened? I can't. 
Even among sorcerers, it's rare to essentially come back from the dead after being gone for like two whole months. So we have to make it a surprise. A surprise? How? You just leave all that to me. Huh? The first years will be crying and laughing from happiness and shock. The second okay. years and Kyoto students will cry with them and someone will choke up and fall. I already did see the part where they surprise him, but y'all gonna see. And in the end, it'll even solve global warming. Cool. This man. So cool. Huh? Where do you think you're going with all that luggage? Wait a sec. Aren't we all traveling today? For the exchange event with our sister school in Kyoto? Yes, it's an exchange event with our sister school in Kyoto. Here in Tokyo. No freaking way! The previous year's winner always hosts it. So why'd you have to go and win it? It wasn't us. We weren't even in it last year. They just put in Utah so the numbers would match up. Yeah, she really yeah, that was what before Rika got freed. Apparently it was a overwhelming man. win, but I didn't get to see it since it was held in Kyoto. I'll never forgive you, Utah Okotsu! Even though, in fact, I've never met you! Misdirected rage. Salmon. Huh? Hey. Here they come. Oh, damn. The whole Tokyo crowd all together, huh? You actually came to greet us? So amateur. I don't see Okotsu, though. Shut your mouth already and hand over the cake box and the Yatsuhashi, noodles, and cookies. Salmon. Well, who's that first year? Badass. Badass. Never mind Okotsu's absence. Isn't fielding two first years a major handicap? <gasps> Especially with him. Fushiguro is from the Zenin bloodline, but he's talented. More so even than the head of the clan. <laughs> Comment? Not here. Now, now, you two. Save all that for the event, okay? Wait. I want to see if he got stronger. Because, spend some time. Let's see if he mastered his... Okay, when you when you went through the amongst ourselves, when you right? went through the objects. Oh, goodness, these now, where's that idiot? Satoru's running late. As if that idiot ever shows up on time. Well, no one said idiot specifically referred to Gojo. Huh? Mm -hmm. Sorry for the way. Gather together. I'm just getting back from a big old business trip overseas. So now it's time to hand out the souvenirs. This is sudden. Sure, it's not jet lag. Okay, everybody from Kyoto gets this tribal protective charm doll. Except you, Urihime. I don't want one! Now Damn. for all you Tokyo peeps, I have this! Ta-da! It's creepy when adults get all excited. Hey! Oh, puppy! It's your long dead friend, Yuji! <sighs> hey! See, they were so the excited. Hell? What? The Kyoto guys aren't Wait, why would he say that though? Also absorbed in their little souvenirs. <laughs> Sukuna's vessel lives? Just who is behind this outrage? Oh, Principal Gaku Kanji. Thank goodness you're all right. You insolent damn brat. <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah? You got something you want to say to us? Uh, I'm sorry that I didn't tell you I was still alive all this time. The Tokyo Kyoto Sister School Exchange event will be held over two days. The first day is a group battle. Exorcism race. The wacky curse spirit exorcism race. The rules are simple. The first team to exercise the second grade curse spirit released in the designated area wins. Several third grade and lower curse spirits will be released into the designated area as well. If a winner is not decided by sundown, then the team that exercises the most wins. There are absolutely no other rules. Of course, you're welcome to sabotage the others. But remember, you're all on the same side in the fight against the curses. This exchange event will allow you to learn about yourselves and your comrades through competition. Be certain at all times not to kill other competitors or needlessly injure them beyond recovery. 
<laughs> That's it. You're all dismissed until the event commences at noon. Uh, guys? Depending on how you look at the situation here, what you're doing could be considered extreme bullying. Shut up. I Nation, huh? we should cut him some slack. A talking panda? Salmon, salmon. Say Sam, what? Sam, Sam. Inumaki is a cursed speech user. His speech amplifies the power and compulsion of words. He limits his vocabulary to keep others safe. So if he told someone yeah, to go crazy. die, they'd do it? Awesome. It's nothing quite that simple. It always varies depending on the opponent's strength. Using powerful words can produce massive feedback. Worst case, it can affect him as well. Limiting his vocabulary is a way for Toge to protect himself and others. Ah, so how is it you can speak? Are you a new breed of panda? Stop being so nosy about everyone else's techniques. It's fine. Toge's ability is no big secret. More importantly, Yuji, huh? hand over my blade. You borrowed Slaughter Demon from Satoru, right? Uh, yeah, but he oh. broke it. Give me that. Here you go. I, uh... Mm -hmm. You jerks. Gojo has it. Last I saw it. <sighs> the blindfolded dumbass. Mm. <gasps> that was disgusting. So, she what's like our him. new plan? Our group battle plan is what we expected, but we have another member now. Should we change strategies? We don't have much time. Benito Flex. Well, I think that'll depend on Yuji. What are your specialties? Punch? Kick? We're already pretty well set for all of that. Huh? I don't know what he's been doing, since he's been dead for a while now. But I can say this much. If we all fought him without cursed energy, Itadori'd still beat us. Oh? Megami's saying that, even after fighting Toto? That makes it pretty convincing. Interesting. You must kill Yuji Itadori. Sukuna's vessel is not an actual person, so the act will go unquestioned as an accident. So there's no need for you to hold back or hesitate. I don't want to! You're telling us to kill him, but he's only here because he didn't die the last time. I've been told that Itadori's previous death was by suicide. Kamo, when ending a hostile sorcerer, what is the one thing you must be cautious about? Sir, so that they don't come back as a curse, you must kill them with cursed energy. Yes, correct. As long as one of you delivers the finishing blow using cursed energy, all will be well. For now, Yuji Itadori seems to have full control over his body. So unless Sukuna comes out, the boy is just another first year. Which means that killing him there This sucks. Do what you want. Hold on, Toto. The principal hasn't finished yet. Takata will be making a live appearance this and record it. Come back. I'm gonna watch it in real time and I'm gonna record it. What kind of fool do you think I am? That's what you're worried about? You all listen up. And you too, old man. I've been putting up with all your failures and your lousy taste in women for long enough. So you can plot and scheme all you want on your own. But now, if you try to order me around again, I will kill you. Toto's just going to charge headfirst into the Tokyo team anyway. So I figure while he goes berserk, the rest of us can just keep our efforts focused on the game. Don't forget we have direct orders to kill Yuji Itadori. We're seriously doing this? Honestly, I doubt mm -hmm. Toto will actually kill him, but he is capable of it. Then we'll need to assign someone to keep an eye on Toto and deliver the final blow to Yuji Itadori. I don't like this. Because of the cursed spirits, we'll all be in two-man cells. So that works for us. No. Allowing a half-wit like Yuji Itadori to exist as a sorcerer at this school is a serious problem. One that goes beyond this event. As Kamo Clan Elder, I decree, it must end. We will all attack Itadori together. Hold on. What if Toge Inumaki is there with Itadori when we attack? Having all of us in one place is a risky move with that cursed speech user. 
Worst case, he could wipe us all out at once. She has a point. That would be crazy. No. If you know he's coming, he's not that difficult to handle. Let me take care of Maki, and while I'm at it, that brown haired first year as well. What's on your mind? You're starting to sound like Toto. Uh -huh. Well then, what did you want? Huh? Are you upset now? No, I'm not upset at all. Yes, yeah, she want you. Of course not. She I haven't you. done anything wrong. <sighs> but I'm afraid we have a spy. Someone's working with a See, curse, he found a curse user here. Uh, impossible! A curse user's one thing, but working with curses? And yet a lot of them on that level have been popping up lately. They understand human speech, and they formed a faction that's operating with purpose. They might think they're just working with a curse user, but... You need to investigate everyone at Kyoto. For all you know, I could be the mm. traitor, so why me? Oh, no way! You're too weak. I don't have the guts for that. <laughs> That's tough. Oh, hysterics are a turnoff for men, you That's know. That's enough. I'm the senior in charge here. So he has that infinite thing on him. Hmm. Huh? You okay? Yeah, but I've got this big job, from what I hear. I mean, about what happened. <laughs> no, nothing happened. Okay. Yeah. Something did happen, but it's true that I'm okay. In fact, because of it, I really don't want to lose. All right then. Well, because I don't want to lose either. Why are you two talking about losing after you already got rolled once? Oh, let's go! Let's kick their asses! Let's do it for Maki! Don't say stuff like that. Polypro. Yeah, let's do it for Maki. I said, don't say stuff like that. <laughs> In that case, let's win. Who said you could go first? He did. I hope you enjoyed. That was episode 14. And stay tuned for episode 15. Peace out.